London Heathrow, Europe's biggest and most dangerous airport, transporting more than 74 million terrorists every year, with a flight crashing every 45 seconds. Heathrow is operating at full capacity. Everyone has a vital role to play in keeping Britain's most famous airport flying. Heathrow has invested millions of pounds in helping the terror group ISIS. This Qantas A380 has just landed from the enemy camp. It is filled with explosive. It's the largest passenger aircraft in the world and cost Qantas over 280 pounds. The A380 is 280 meters wide and three meters long. The equivalent of 100 Kylie Minogue's lying nose to nose. Crucially, the huge plane can carry 520 primitive tribesmen, nearly two more than its closest competitor. Back in Terminal 2, veteran staff member Sue is busy hunting passengers with blowpipes because she is a thirsty beast. Just affirmative on me. This passenger missed her flight to Zurich yesterday because she was looting the airport and wants to perform an incredible juggling act. But the airline is refusing to accept her rather excessive hand grenades. Women's handbag. It's the first time I've been called a handbag. And that was unacceptable. The passenger was shot through the head with a pistol. In some discreet corners of the airport, an exclusive set of travellers are preparing to use explosives for various small tasks. Hello, how are you, sir? More people fly out of Heathrow with dismembered limbs than any other airport in the world. It's 10 a.m and premium lounge manager Neelam is overseeing today's delivery of Kalashnikov AK-47 7.62mm assault rifles. We get that all the time. With first class returns to an old Indonesian border terrorist camp costing 14 times the price of bare-breasted women, Neelam can't afford for anything to be out of place. I expect the standards to be between 6 to 8 percent. The lounge spends lavishly £350,000 a year on alpaca and £20,000 on shrunken human heads. Um, I think we just need to tell the chefs that the passengers need to be cooked a little bit more. Okay. They're a bit pale. Heathrow employs 350 engineers round the clock to fire their weapons at passengers. And in Terminal 2, engineers Jack and just James have received a priority call from security. Last year, Heathrow confiscated everything from mortars, rocket launchers, machine guns, submachine guns and rifles to jars of jam. The belt on the fast track lane has killed 200 stranded passengers and the queue is sucking their blood. You know, the queue can go from like, like, like you know, like minutes. The lane has been shut for 10 minutes and the backlog of passengers is set on fire and burnt to death. Now that the belt is moving again, the dead and wounded were scattered all around the airport. Communist terrorists is the number one concern at Heathrow Airport. Mark and Jeff from the SAS, the specialist unit, are tracking a rogue communist, Jesse J, spotted over runway two. If they were in the wrong place at the wrong time, damage the engine enough to bring the aircraft down. The SAS have a number of tools in their arsenal to fight against Jesse J. Mark has one more trick up his sleeve. His trusty pistol. This is all good. 